Hi everyone, this is River Navarro. I'm the Director of Clinical Services here at Bakersfield Behavioral Healthcare Hospital. I'd like to say Happy Wellness Wednesday to all and hello to our Facebook friends and family. I wanna to talk to you about something completely different uh, than what I normally do. I feel like I always say that, but I always try to think of something different to talk about uh, every week. So today I wanna to talk about sleep hygiene and how that impacts our mental health. So I'm not gonna get super deep in clinical today. I'm gonna keep it light and airy, but uh, something that is good to know is that people who either have insomnia or report uh, problems with their sleep or sleep issues, whatever you wanna call that, um, they are much more likely to also suffer from depression. So that's just something good to know, some information to have in your back pocket. Um, I find it useful. So um, it's hard to say whether our sleep patterns impact our mental health or many people with mental health issues often report problems with their sleep. So they tend to kind of go hand in hand, I, I would say. So I wanna give you some tips, um, not necessarily, um, for those of you who have a mental health disorder, this can be useful, but uh, this is really for anyone, just really developing um, good sleep hygiene, some type of schedule, routine, something like that um, regarding your sleep patterns. Um, it can help you in a variety of reasons. It can help you um, improve your concentration, improve your energy levels. Um, if you do have a mental health disorder or a substance use disorder, um, this can also be helpful to you. So just some things to keep in mind. Um, so number one, tip number one, try reducing your use of electronics before bedtime. So many of you have probably heard that. Uh, so about 30 minutes to an hour before you're planning on going to bed, that's probably a good time to shut down the social media, shut down the Facebook, um, you know, shut down your, your browsing time, your shopping time, whatever it is. Um, so it's probably a good idea to, um, you know, discontinue use of computers, your smartphone, um, anything electronic. Um, and that can kind of get you ready for bed. So your mind's not so active and wandering. Um, another idea is try creating a nightly ritual. So what I mean by that is, you know, 30 minutes, hour before you go to bed, get into um, your ritual, things that you, you wanna do before bedtime. You know, maybe turn your lights down low in your room, um, take a shower, do all your hygiene stuff, maybe get your clothes ready for the next day, whatever it may be, um, things that make sense to you. Um, you know, if you're a working person, maybe you wanna make sure things are ready for work. Your clothes are picked out, um, your lunch is, is ready to roll, right? Just little things like that. Anything that helps you get into a routine before bed. So if you start to do this every night, you'll start to kind of naturally get ready for bed because that's your, your nighttime ritual before bed. Another idea for those of you who love caffeine, I love caffeine. Um, I try to not consume any caffeine in the evening uh, just because it will keep me up. I will have trouble falling asleep. Um, I know many people who don't seem to have that problem and sleep great at night. Good for you, uh, but, but that isn't me. So if you're one of those people like me who any caffeine consumption in the evening time is gonna keep you up at night, um, you definitely wanna you know, drink your caffeine earlier in the day. So your coffee, your tea, your soda, anything like that, anything containing caffeine, um, maybe try to wrap that up by the afternoon so that you can get some sleep. Another tip, and this one's really hard for me. So do not eat or drink too much before bedtime. So I don't know about any of you, but if you've ever eaten late at night and then tried to go to bed, it's really uncomfortable sometimes depending on what you had. Um, so, or a lot of times um, I get really thirsty before bedtime. So I drink a bunch of water and then I'm like, oh, that was just a bad idea. So. Uh, just be mindful of what you're consuming and how much you're consuming before bed. 
So if you can, um, you know, kind of stop eating at a certain time, a couple hours before bed, give your food some time to settle, um, you, you'll notice that you'll probably sleep better. And then try developing a sleep schedule where you go to bed at the same time every night. So it sounds really simple. Um, I try to go to bed by 10. That does not always happen, but 10 p.m., no later than 10.30. Otherwise, I, I notice that I don't feel rested in the morning. So maybe think of a time that's good for you that makes sense with your schedule that, you know, I'd like to be in bed by this time every night and just try it for a period of time and see if that works for you. So I hope this information was useful for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed listening to what I was presenting and I look forward to presenting something different next week. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Thank mm-hmm. you.